Hello again from Budapest. It is our second day here and we're excited to explore the city a little bit more. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Today we are on the Buda side of Budapest because Budapest used to actually be two separate cities, one called Pest and one called Buda. Our first stop is this fortress called Fisherman's Bastillion. We're excited to check it out. Yes. We have been walking up this hill for about five minutes and it's keep going up. I think the Buddha side is definitely more hilly than the Pesh side. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. Yeah. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all. Wow, this area is so beautiful. So there's the Fisherman's Bastion, which is the big giant fortress to our left. Way down over there. And then right behind us is... The Matthias Church. It's the, one of the oldest church in Hungary. And I love the colorful ceilings they have. It's so cute. So this whole area is called like the Castle District or Castle Hill. And like I said, there's the church, there's the fortress, there's also Buda Castle, which we're gonna check out a bit later on. And I think we're just gonna walk around here and enjoy the beautiful sights. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found We got tickets. It was less than seven dollars. Mm. Two good. tickets. For two tickets. Mm. I bet. My way. The view from here is like so insane. It's definitely worth the cost of entry. It's a thousand huff per person, which is like three dollars and fifty cents Canadian. So I definitely would recommend coming to check this place out. Next up, Buddha Castle. So to get up to the castle, you have two choices. You can either take the funicular mm -hmm. or you can walk. The funicular is 1,400 one way and 2,000 2, for a return. We are very cheap, so we are just gonna walk all the way up. I think it's about 10 minutes or so only, so... Not too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. And it's a good exercise. We, I think we need more exercise so that we can eat more. That's true. This is a very steep stairs. Ugh. At least the view is pretty nice. These are the stairs we took. Mm -hmm. We were way down over there. coffee shops, ice cream, there's even a museum and our art gallery here. It's definitely worth checking out. But now we're getting a little bit hungry so we're gonna head to Central Market. We have made it to the Central Market. We're excited because we're really hungry. It's getting late and we haven't had any food. It's breakfast. Let's go. This 
this market is so big. There's so many different places to get food. There's places selling like a bunch of paprika, which is very famous here in Hungary. There's places that are selling sausages. We saw that chocolate place. There's ham. There's so much stuff here. It's really, really cool. We ordered some food. We're not sure if it's like super traditional or not. But because everywhere is, it's so crowded here. We just, we just picked the first place yeah. we could like <laughs> not Actually stand in line for 20 hours. I'm sure it'll be good. All right, Sandy got a goulash soup. Very Hungarian, beef stew. And I got this giant thing full of meat. And I think that's cabbage on top. You look the queen, look at this. <laughs> It's really good. How would you rate that? Uh, and it wasn't even that expensive. I think Sandy's soup plus a beer mm -hmm. was like 2200 huff, mm -hmm. which is like $8? Yeah. I don't know, something like that, like $8, which is pretty cheap. Very mm -hmm. I think we're just gonna finish up here and then probably head back to our Airbnb because we're very tired. We've been out for a very long time. We're back at our apartment now. We've actually been here for way longer than we thought we would because we've been doing some trip planning, mm -hmm. but thankfully we think we have the next couple weeks figured out. We're gonna be heading to Bratislava, Prague, Krakow, but we've been working for way too long, so I think it's about time to get some dinner, so we're just gonna get ready, and then let's head out for dinner. Mm -hmm. Recommended on Reddit, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right. Should be good. So excited for falafels and hummus. Perfect way to end the day. It was so good. I am so unbelievably stuffed. I can't feel, I feel very healthy because it's all made from chickpeas. Now we're just gonna head back to our Airbnb and probably call it a night. Maybe just hang out and watch a movie or something on Netflix because we're honestly so exhausted from being out in the heat earlier. Yeah. And I think we just need some time to chill and recover. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.